One color, one mark, one legend. 1934, the Nürburgring, the Silver Arrows are born. The Mercedes W25 is one kilo too heavy. The mechanics scratch off the white paint and Manfred von Braukic races to victory. Der Silberpfeil von Manfred von Brauchitsch gewinnt das Eifelrennen 1934. What began back then is now gospel. A Mercedes racing car is silver. Michael Schumacher and Nico Rosberg have inherited this legend, a tradition that's now 77 years old. Also, es macht auf jeden Fall stolz. It certainly makes you proud as a German to be in a German works team. That's really something. And on top of that, in a silver arrow, a Mercedes, I can't imagine anything better. Mercedes in Sindelfingen, the design center. This is where the paintwork process begins. At the heart of things, the power wall. Seven projectors and over 20 square meters of screen. High-end technology to create a thing of beauty. The power wall is our window into the virtual world where we can uh, show and present digital cars and uh, especially in one-to-one -one scale so we can uh, look at the cars in full scale and uh, the specification of the power wall is, uh, is that we have a very high resolution so four times HD resolution so four times what you have in digital cinema today and also in a very high contrast. On the power wall, there are no limits. The Mercedes GPW02 can be depicted on any circuit, in different weather conditions and lighting, in an enclosed space or under open skies. Every section, no matter how small, is brought into perspective. From the outset, a creative process. In Sennepinger uh, are the first uh, uh, designs uh, developed and was uh, on the workstation and the power wall and so on. And we have developed the color paint the, with the additives, with the effects and so on. 3D or 2D, the thickness of the shading using paint or decals. The lettering for the sponsors gets created, designed and tested. Another decisive point is selection of the appropriate shade of paint. Not all silvers are the same. Here's a matte silver and here's a gloss one. And the gloss silver comes out with much more brilliance on the car. It stands out better from the track and has a greater impact on TV in shots of the starting grid. The results are now presented to the team management and drivers. First impressions. Yeah, it was the first time that I saw this year's car. It was on the power wall. And I think the Mercedes Design Center in Zenolfing did a fantastic job because the car really looks cool. At the Mercedes factory in Brackley, England, the livery is then applied. In the paint shop, over 25 different body parts are painted to create a single unit. We uh, have a, a, a left side and a right side and then we discuss and uh, uh, we decide which side is the best one and then we make the, the whole body, the whole car in Brackley and uh, yeah, then we have the finish of the car. One of the key aspects in the process, the weight of the paint. Formula One is unforgiving and one gram too much could be decisive. This season alone, around 30,000 litres of paint will be used for the whole team. A colour that represents a team and an entire company and that fills not only the drivers with pride. Today's boss was a big fan of the silver cars even way back when. Well, when I was, uh, when I was a schoolboy, I used to make little slot cars and um, some of the old silver arrows I used to build as slot cars. So um, I think the, the 156 or 125, all those I used to make as little slot cars. So uh, they're cars I know uh, quite well and I was quite fond of them when I was a boy. A fondness shared by many motor racing fans and one that's endured from that first race at the Nürburgring through to this day. One color, one mark, one legend.